You know, one of the things that, that, that Coach Dev says all the time is, man, the ball's going to find the open guy, right? The ball's going to find the open guy. But I think you also have to take that in context. you got to have uh, distribution amongst the field to be able to find the open guy, right? So that when you design a play, right, you got to have a guy at every spot, right? So, so in order for it to, to open up uh, the way that, that, that Coach Kitchens is, uh, is referring. So I think the difference here is now we have – more experienced guys, right, that can go make plays so you don't have to necessarily strictly game plan for one guy or the quarterbacks don't have to have this feeling like I have to go to this guy regardless of he's the third guy in the progression, right? And I'm going to skip one, two, and I'm going to this guy. That's not how you want to operate. Like you want to be able to operate and flow as the design of the concepts are, are intended. And so what I think is you have from the receiving standpoint, you have more competitive depth, right, which is going to allow the quarterbacks to, to be able to distribute the ball a, a little bit better. Um, and then also uh, other positions, you know, your tight end position. Uh, we, we, we project it to be, uh, you know, more dynamic uh, in the passing game, which is going to help uh, from a distribution standpoint. Uh, whereas, you know, last year we were limited in a, in a little bit in some spots. You know, depth was, was kind of a challenge for us. We had some young guys. Uh, growing up on the job, but I think with the addition of uh, the veteran guys that we brought in uh, at receiver from the portal and then also another year of, of, um, of training. And, and I'm most excited about all of these guys truly having an off season, right? I think I know we were documenting that we're going into year three, but uh, I, I feel like this is the true first true off season that we've had uh, without, without any kind of, you know, disruption or, you know, other things that we got to, you know, truly focus on. So I'm excited to see, and I think that will help from a developmental standpoint uh, as well. Um, so, so I think to, to truly answer your question, I think we have more viable options to be able to distribute the ball. And so, uh, but if it turns into a situation like it was with Malik, I mean, you're not going to give a fool uh, as a coach if it's working to, <laughs> to go away from it. Uh, but at the same time, too, you're, you're realistic and understanding that it's hard to make a living you know, like that. And, and when I think about my experiences as a coordinator, uh, when, when you had guys all over the field, man, it put a lot of pressure, you know, on the on the defense. And, and so you didn't have to necessarily uh, design for one person, right? You were able to distribute the ball, uh, and it helps you to stay on, on schedule, in rhythm, be explosive, and, and, and really, uh, you know, dictate the pace of play because you can put pressure on the defense.